What is good Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video and in this one I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to break down why tomorrow is going to be a crazy day for the stock market and will affect Neo in my opinion. So I'm going to break down why tomorrow is going to be crazy, what's going on with the economic data that's coming out, what's going on with the Fed speakers, what's going on with the market makers and the Fed and everything that will affect Neo for tomorrow. Now before I break anything down about Neo, before I talk about how the news and the market may affect the share price i do have to mention a couple of things before starting firstly i'm not a financial planner make sure you take none of this as financial advice whatsoever and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me it benefits the entire neo community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the weeble link down below and in the description if you sign up for Webull, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, whether it's $1 or $100, it's up to you. You're guaranteed 12 free stocks plus free level one data. And you'll also have uh, access to their amazing platform with all of these free stocks. It's a limited time offer. The offer ends in just 13 days. Make sure you check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So anyways... When it comes to NEO, I just want to note something else that's very important. I'm going to actually close that right over there. But when it comes to NEO, NEO is actually up 1.84% for the day. Finally, NEO is in the green. We had two 0% days in a row, and we finally got the green day. I did predict the green day in the markets and for NEO. And for tomorrow, the way NEO moves is going to be very dependent on the market. I'm going to break down exactly why. Looking at NEO, the first thing I want to mention is the fact that NEO offers a power service system with chargeable, swappable, and upgradable batteries to provide users with awesome catering to all scenarios. This is awesome because of the fact that this is helping them gain a lot more news, a lot more traction. And I do believe in NEO's vision that's going to continue to grow. Now, during NEO's latest deliveries report they did see a bit of a shortage because of the fact that demand in china is still slowing down there was lunar new year but i do believe neo is working for that comeback we did get some price cuts which could help them but we have to wait and see how this ends up turning out however regardless of all of this i'm still very bullish long term now when it comes to the news and data that's coming out the first thing is we have some big earnings i think shopify just reported earnings and they beat for the most part i think roku did pretty well roblox too but for tomorrow we have other big companies we have applied materials we have DraftKings. we also have doordash uh and a bunch of other ones so very interesting day for tomorrow to start off with earnings but then we also have ppi data coming out this is going to be basically like cpi except from the producer side and right now the consensus is month over month an increase of 0.4 percent and then year over year where's my year over year right here 5.4 percent is what we want right are we going to get that we'll have to wait and see this could cause a crazy move in the stock market this is once again coming out one hour before the market opens we also have initial jobless claims coming out. The consensus is about 200,000. We want unemployment to start going up. At least technically, that's what the market wants to see. And I also want to note that after that, we have more data coming out, followed by a bunch of Fed speakers. We have Mester, we have Bullard speaking, who tends to be more hawkish, and the Fed cook. So now the Fed is back. You know, it's going to be wild. We have big data. We have earnings. We have market maker manipulation and we have the fed everything in one what's going on with the market makers they've been basically buying up what the big bears are selling the big bears when the market ends up making these moves let me just show you what i'm talking about when the big bears come out they're starting to sell here they're selling here they're selling 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 they're trying to drop the market but the market maker knows that there are lots of puts that have been bought they know it. All these puts have just been bought for Friday. If you look at OPEX day, it's going to be on Friday, which is going to be the 17th. 3.3 million puts are out of the money with a 2.82 put to call ratio. What's interesting is the bonds market is pricing in a more hawkish Fed. Typically, the stock market should have dropped by now, right? 
but the market is artificially being pumped by the market makers and many other manipulators out there. Why? Because of the options chain and also because of what is going to make them a lot more profit. The manipulation and the amount of money they can make, it does increase when they end up getting the market to do what they want. And that is holding the market up as of right now to destroy the shorts. Now, why is this important? Well, look at the swings in the market. It is just madness. Look at the last couple of days. I can actually go back even further. Look at the last few weeks. We're going up and down and up and down. Big drop, big push up. And then over the last, what, three days, we've actually saw the market get a rally to 4.15 off CPI. We came down to 4.08. We're coming back up, down. And now we're starting to form a bullish triangle-like setup. And at least it kind of resembles that in my opinion. Uh, this doesn't really resemble a wedge because we did see a nice push at the end of the day as the buying came in to cause more pain for the shorts. What is this telling me? The answer is for tomorrow, the market's going to react to the data. All right. It depends on PPI, depends on etc. And the market makers are going to use that as an excuse to do what they want to do. It's just going to be an excuse. All right. Now, I also want to note that from a technical standpoint, if we ignore the news that's coming out, uh, if we ignore other things, the market makers are buying and buying and buying and still buying up all of these bets to the downside. They're still buying all these shares and etc. And we are still seeing retail starting to continue to buy, but we are seeing retail getting a bit exhausted, exhausted, excuse me, while we end up seeing a continuation of the buying from market makers. So what's happening is with the algos set to buying, what's happening is there is a bullish setup right here. This setup is bullish. It looks like SPY is going to try to get to that 415 area, continue breaking out. For the QQQ, this thing also is continuing to push up. Look at the day. This is a bullish structure that it's forming. And could we fill this gap? Is there even a gap up here? I do believe it's going to try to break 3 Oh, 09 there is 311 it is a possibility especially with tesla pushing the way it was so it was apple i believe this is all pivotal and this all could help neo push up it really could now i also want to note that when it comes to neo we got 35 million in volume and that's pretty average and an overall short volume is pretty much uh, at the same level as before, meaning that it, it being at 45% means that long volume or those who are buying are starting to gain the edge over the stock. Relative to the market, NEO is green only 51% of the time on Thursdays, actually most of the time on Thursdays. So it could be a decent day for NEO. And we did see the short interest decrease a little bit. We did see some shorts end up covering positions that did help NEO push up a bit. So what am I seeing on NEO? You could argue that NEO is forming a bullish structure that looks like this. We have this resistance around this 10.7-ish uh, area. I'm going to change the color of this to maybe like a teal line here, and we're going to make this a little bigger. And then we also have this nice uptrend that NEO is just continuing to respect. It looks a lot like this. So this is technically bullish. This setup looks bullish. It looks like NEO is going to try to fly to 10.8. Let me just say the bullish and bearish possibilities first before I break down what could end up happening. The bullish possibility is NEO breaks to 10.8. If we break 10.8, 11.3 could come. 11 to 11.3. If we're bearish off the data, NEO could come all the way back down to 10. And if it breaks below that, there's 9.7. That looks a little bit less likely because of the fact that there are lots of buyers coming into this 10 area and there's a big demand zone right there so what does this tell me the answer is in my opinion we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow because of the market makers how they're manipulating the stocks because of all of the data coming out it's very hard to predict exactly what's going to happen i expect lots of fake outs and lots of volatility it's going to be crazy but but from a technical standpoint it's a little bit more likely neo is going to try to break out looks a little bit more likely. I think looking at it, we're just trying to break this 10.5. We might break it and try to get to above 10.8. That's what I believe is very possible. Am I promising we're going to just fly insanely hard? No, but I do believe it's a little bit more of a bullish structure that we have, and it's a little bit more likely that Neo pushes up. That's what I have for this video.
Once again, be prepared for anything because it's going to be dependent on data as well. But with that out of the way, just please, please, please be prepared. And I am still a little bit more inclined into thinking Neo is going to try to continue to push up. That's what I have for this video. Thank you all so much for listening. Remain calm, cool, and collected. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Neo to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright. And peace out.